So you need a pair of heat or flame resistant gloves. So you go to Google and you type in the heat resistant glove standard, naturally, and you would eventually come across the European standard EN407. So you go out and you buy yourself the coolest pair of EN407 gloves that you can find, like these ones right here. And you would go back to work, you grab something hot and, ah, you burnt your hand. But how can that be? These are supposed to be heat resistant, right? Well, I'm Troy Mares of Power Pack, and this is how the EN407 standard actually works. So those super cool gloves that I've got here are the Port West A722s. They are packed with features. They're primarily considered an impact resistant glove, but if you look at the tag a little closer, you'll find that there is a lot more to them. These gloves happen to be rated to that EN407 standard that we Googled in the intro, and they're rated specifically as X1, XX, X, X. And that last part is the important part because it tells us specifically what these gloves are rated for. The EN407 covers six different categories of flame resistance. In order from left to right, we have flame resistance, contact heat, convection heat, radiant heat, splashes of molten metal, and large exposure to molten metal. Each of those heat resistant categories are rated on a scale from one to four, with four being the highest. If there's an X in the category, that means it's not rated at all for that category. So again, these gloves are rated as X1, XX, XX, which means the only test that they're rated for is for contact heat resistance and they score a one. That's why it's so important to read and understand these rating systems before you put yourself into a dangerous situation. To learn more about the EN407 standard, go check out our heat resistant glove blog post on our website. There you'll learn all about the different categories and what they mean. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay safe.